Oh, so close, man. So close. Intercooler piping is a bitch. What's up, guys? Sam here. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, as you might have saw, the skyline, the front mount intercooler is finally on, but the thing that sucks is the intercooler piping is being a little pain in the ass. Pretty much, we just need a 90 degree silicone rubber hose. That's pretty much what's stopping us from getting the intercooler piping mounted to the side of the intercooler. As you guys probably recall in my previous videos, I did mention, you guys might have saw as well right now, the intercooler kit I'm using, the inlets are actually on the same side. The purpose of that is to make it less complicated oh, because with RB motors, RB25, RB20, Pretty much those, not the RB26. The way the intake crosses over the engine, it kind of goes over the valve cover and it comes out into the stock side mount. So the reason I got the Godspeed intercooler was it makes it easier as far as the way that the piping travels because it enters the side of the intercooler the same way. If I would have done the front mount with the inlets coming on both ends, I would have had to relocate the battery, cut some holes into the subframe, and I personally feel like that would have been a little bit extra effort. With this, it was a pretty simple install. The only thing that's missing is the connection for the 90 degree elbow. So the next step is to order that so we can get that installed and good to go. Tolls, man. You got to be careful about those tolls. All right, guys. So we're actually heading out to a local car meet that takes place in the summer. Uh, actually, takes place every Friday. I didn't get a chance to go this year, but we're actually heading out there. Uh, it's actually for classic muscle cars. So for all my viewers and fans that are into muscle cars, you guys might enjoy this vlog. There's a lot of old school muscle and. You know, even some pretty cool imports there. I think I took the Skyline there a while back. But yeah, we actually haven't gotten around to going to that meet yet all summer. So we're going to head on there and hopefully we run into some, uh, some cool cars. Get some cool owners too. They have some cool stories. So let's let's check it out. The dark side, the dark side. Thomas! Hey! I'll talk to you in a bit. So we just parked and now we're making our way towards the meet. So hopefully we see some cool cars. Let's see what they got. It makes me miss our Evo. Rest in peace. the meat so far pretty much a lot of Chevy's Camaro's I'm a huge Chevy guy Mustangs and a few imports as well we're gonna hop on over to the other side and there's actually this BMW 2002 so you can go check that out as well yeah man a couple of bikes as well so look at the CTSB right there CTSB's are so nice man Got that Cadillac life, bro. I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was pretty cool when I was driving past here. It's this right here. One of my favorite BMWs ever, the 2002. I'm a huge E30 fan, but these, man, oh my god, unicorns, yo. That is so mint, man. So what we're doing right now is we're just walking around this alley. They have some more cars on the other side. So we're gonna go check it out. They have, uh, usually over there, they kind of have like the exclusives. A uh, couple of muscle cars and we've seen some imports over there as well and exotics. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go check that out over there. We're gonna see how it is, man. Yo, it's beautiful weather out here. Downtown, Downers Grove. They actually, as I mentioned, they always have these meets uh, every Friday in the summer. And this is actually, I haven't gotten around to going to one this year at all, which sucks. So I was like, I got some time, I gotta make it out here. And yeah, we're just coming up with some of these cars right here. And uh, let's let's see what they got, man. I know they had an NSX. 
<laughs> Yo, Cobra for all my Terminator fans. DeLorean! Ah, I got the right transmission, bro. So I wanted to show you guys that NSX that I was talking about earlier. Oh man, one day man, I want to drive one of these for sure. It's a special Hot Wheels edition. Pretty cool man. I think this one's a V6, but yeah, they had the spec sheet. Uh, very few of these made. Oh snap, yo, this one's with the, the manual transmission too, dude. That's cool, man. These things are awesome, man. Oh, it's a nice car, man. This one has the LS9 or LS7? LS7, okay. Wait, what year is it? 06. 06? Oh, nice, man. Pantera. Oh my god. Engine fat, bro! Wait, if that's a transmission, where's the shift linkage? Where, where's the shift shirt? It's an invisible shift, oh, bro. Oh, the shift linkage is going from there up front. Oh, this is easy. Yo, fuck, 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 buddy! I don't know, I never really got into these cruisers, man. Oh, school. Oh, it's a probe! What the heck is that Probe? Yo! A fun fact that I never shared with you guys is my first car was a Ford Probe. I think this is a first gen, mine was a second gen. But that's crazy, man. I haven't seen this in a while. But this one's a turbo, which is pretty cool, man. Yo, this is so mint, bro. More super love, the dark side. Guys, watch this! Look at this guy go! <laughs> Not every day you see one of these supercharged Miata. That's, you don't see that every day. You don't, you man. Alright guys, before the battery dies, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this vlog. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm out.